What up players, it's Warbots Tap in this mud. We're doing a little bit of a flashback video, blast from the past, and um, I'm looking at a white dwarf from March 2004. This is in, in anticipation of the new vampire counts coming out. There's a lot of great articles in here, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm specifically gonna flip to page 44 and show you this article. It's called Old Worlds, Old Weirds, Inkunabulum. And uh, let's see if I can get this in the right focus. It's a map of Sylvania, the province of Sylvania, the Sylvania, and um, shows you all the gothic uh, vampire counts kind of kind of style with lots of bats and skulls and and all of that. Um, so so the article Fluffwise is written as an account from, I guess, a scholar who sent his assistant to go and dig up some some research and stuff. So it's, it, it's a lot of fluff at the beginning, and um, and then it, it culminates in, that's a nice piece of artwork, culminates in a battle, oops, not that, that's for later, culminates in a written account of the, the first battle where Vlad von Karstein, the first vampire count, revealed himself to be a vampire who could summon the dead. So, according to the battle, the um, the Sylvanian army, which was at the time all regular and living soldiers, were camped out or um, or in a camp, and then the Middenheim uh, force had ambushed them. So uh, they were they were just they'd ambushed their camp. They were winning. Everything was going great, and then. Vlad von Karstein used his magic to start summoning the dead to um, to to rise up and fight on his side. And um, I mean, the fluff is great because you've got you know you've got Vlad's great sword regiment, the Drakenhof uh, House Guard, who are like trying to maintain order and and um, and keep the men fighting and telling them, don't worry, it's it's um, you know. Von Karstein is using his magic to save all of us and to help us win. And at the same time, you've got the regular state trooper who's like, whoa, I didn't sign up for this, what's going on? And then at the end of the battle, when all of the all of the Middenheimers are, are killed or routed or uh, resurrected as zombies and um, undead, then Vlad Von Karstein turns all of his uh, undead forces on the remaining survivors of his Sylvanian army. So that's, according to this little story of In the Fluff, that was when the entire Sylvanian army um, was slaughtered and killed and resurrected as undead. And it says because um, Vlad probably decided that the, the dead were easier to control than the living who, were, who had routed and were, um, you know, had, took, some, took, some, um, took some beating morally. In the in the fight with the Middenheimers, so that's where he revealed himself as uh, master of the dark arts, and um, that was pretty interesting, uh, just just to, to learn about. But was the best part of this article is oh look, sisters of battle is the um, what's called artist renditions of the Sylvanian army back when they were humans. So it says, these pages depict some of the soldiers who fought in the army of Vlad von Karstein early in his reign, before it is claimed that they were all slain and reanimated by him. The illustrations show the colors that the warriors of von Drac and later von Karstein wore as their uniform. Um, black, purple, and deep red are the family colors as shown in the sketches. So for any of you who are interested in the in these having like a Sylvanian themed maybe unit or even army for Empire players, then this was a fun little resource that you could have. Sorry, let me see if I can get it focused. Here we've got a, a Templar, and um, he's holding the Von Drac family sign. You see it's got a red shield with a dragon on it, a maiden holding a key, and um, crosses the skull right there at the top of the banner pole. But you see lots of deep purples and reds. So if I was gonna paint an, uh, an army in this, the reds, for the reds, I would use Dark Flesh, of course, because it's my favorite, but then I would highlight that with Red Gore or Scab Red. So 
so you could really pick out the red and maybe even some blood red. Uh, for the purple, it looks really obvious that they want it to be um, light purple. So I would just base that with Hormagon purple, which is a foundation color, and then build up to light purple. And then here you see when Von Karstein took over, there's his family, or his, his flag. So they, they took away all of the um, Templar-ish, like the crosses and the um, any kind of motifs that you might use in an empire army. And they replaced it, like the, the maiden was replaced by a skeleton. Uh, the dragon is gone, replaced by bats. Lots more images of death. And on this page you see one of the great swords or Drakenhof guard. These soldiers were the most forward or favored of all the warriors in the army and were treated as minor nobility. So there you see some more purple on his sleeve, red in, in the hat. Um, it's an interesting little bit in the fluff. It says that they had to buy their own armor and that kept the rabble out of the ranks. <laughs> Uh, his personal bodyguard, uh, bodyguard, they were Von Karstein's personal bodyguard. And then you see another of the general soldiery here, this guy, holding a crossbow. No reds, but you see a touch of the purple and the feather and um, in his leggings. And interesting because he's got an amulet of the twin-tailed comet, which is Sigmar's amulet. So it would re be really interesting to see you know, anybody who's interested in the new Vampire Counts release painting up maybe one of these units for uh, for the Empire, they have a, they have them lying around. Look at this guy, he's like, whoa dude, dude are those zombies? Dude, dude look over there, are, are those zombies? Whoa, dude, dude are, are those zombies dude? Dude. Dude, are those zombies? Yes, they're zombies! But he's got uh, the state trooper like uniform with the slashed, you know, the slashed um, sleeves and leggings. So so it looks like you could do, you could take the, the, the normal common state trooper frame and totally use them without having to worry about inconsistencies with um, you know, oh, they didn't have that t that style of, of clothing um, when von Karstein raised them up um, because it looks like they did. So you don't have any kind of pre-heresy issues where you have to um, go to like Forge World to order some pre, you know, some some old old school von Karstein age era clothing uh, for the uniform. So right on, awesome. Just wanted to point this out to you. These old white doors were full, packed full of these really fluffy articles and and um, they were really really awesome to have and if you can find it at your hobby store like if they have old archives of you know these things in cardboard boxes they usually sell them for maybe like a dollar or two cheaper than current issues since they're so expensive nowadays and you can find a lot of great stuff in them so uh, I highly suggest checking them out and um, this was an obscure little article there were no actual models painted up in these color schemes. It was just this little drawing and article of fluff. But it's enough to get you started and to inspire, you know, it's meant to inspire you to, to build up at like a unit or two of these for, for your Empire Army. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video and um, I don't have to go back to school for a couple more days so I um, hopefully can turn out a couple more of these videos and then it's going to get crazy and probably videos are going to slow down again. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and, and everything. And we'll see you in the next one. Get off of my lawn!